Uh, radio control car. The idea is to hook middle school kids on science, technology, engineering, and math. And these radio control cars are phenomenally good miniatures with steering just like your car, a couple of differentials, it's a four-wheel drive, an electric motor, and uh, controlled by a radio. But I thought for the hook kids, the problem with radio control cars is it's too much just athletic ability and uh, coordination to run the radio. So I thought we should make the car also be autonomous, run it with a microprocessor. And so there's a microprocessor in this car. Mm -hmm. And the idea is we have this racetrack here, and the cars are meant to go uh, behind the cardboard wall racing on their own and then become visible and then I am meant to bring it from there back to here again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the idea. It, it, uh, it works sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes. So what I have to do is turn on the radio control mm -hmm. and put it on radio control. This little switch here, it's this channel 3. If the switch is this way, the car is in control. If this is this way, I'm in control or it's in control. So hold this for a second. All right. And I want to do that first in radio control so that when I plug the car together, it doesn't immediately start to run. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll put the car down where you're standing. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll just put it over here a bit. Put the car down here. And I'll move this. And, uh, and maybe, Tyler, you can just con continue doing this. I'll, uh, uh, I will put the car in its place. Uh, in the starting line with radio control, which is a little bit forward and a little bit of uh, turn, and then I'll let it go in. Well, it seems to be doing a little bit better as far as going around yes, the, yes, yes, yes. the circuit here. Yeah. So that other sensor has made a difference. Yes, exactly. Oop. That's my fault. Oops. Oops. Oops.